Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with an empties video and I'm so excited to be recording something because it's been like a month and a half. I took a break over the summer because my son Caleb was in and out back and forth from Lubbock. My husband took a couple of weeks off. My daughter's moving to Austin soon. I wanted to take time with my family. So it's been a while. So we may be a little rusty. I thought we would jump in with a ton of favorites. This is probably two videos, but we're gonna go ahead and jump in and I've just got this stuff all mixed up. Okay, that's a kitchen empties. Okay, I'm gonna start with a few vitamins. I have an empty turmeric. This is supposed to be good for everything. I don't know exactly what. I know it's supposed to make your blood a really good consistency, like thinner, but not too thin. I don't know what all this does. It's supposed to be excellent for you. Oh, joint support. So I always take this one. My brother told me about it, and it's got black pepper with it. I think if you do turmeric, it needs some other things, and this has the right amount. He researched that. So um, I guess I like it. I don't. I hope it's making me, you know, really healthy. Then I have some daily fiber caps, and I don't know that I recommend these. I don't think they work that great. I think Metamucil or Prunes or something are better. Those are okay. Okay, then I have an empty Monolaurin, and I love this. This is L, L is for Living's Monolaurin, and it's derived from coconuts, and it's supposed to be excellent for your immune. And I will tell you, in the few years that I've been taking this, Sinus infections are non-existent for me. I take two or three every morning, and then if I feel like I'm getting sick or I've been around people that I think might be sick, I'll take more. Five, six, seven for a short time. So I love my Monolaurin. Okay, then I have vitamin C, and I just take a lot of vitamin C. I do because it's, you know, notoriously good for, um, you know, not getting sick. The C. Buckthorn Omega-7 Complete. Heard about this from, I'm going to put it right here, a while back. This is supposed to be good for facial fat. And I actually think that this may help because I used to want to get filler down here and I don't anymore. So, um, yeah, I really love this. And it's good for joint and heart and a bunch of stuff. Okay, then I have an allergy relief, a natural this is um, all natural. This is so good. These are chewable. You chew, I think, two or three of them. I rarely have allergies anymore, but when I do, these are great. You just chew two or three of them, and they work as good as a lot of other stuff. And then that's another vitamin C. Okay, then I have an Oxy powder, again, for staying regular, and I do love these. These are just magnesium. And you take like four, five, six of them, and they are just a really nice way to stay regular. All right, I'm gonna move on to a couple of skincare items. And the first one is the Burt's Bees Foaming Cleanser. And this one is in cucumber and mint. I hesitated to buy the cucumber and mint because I didn't think that sounded like a great scent. I love the scent of this. It's a very refreshing, Gets all my makeup off. It's inexpensive. Doesn't strip my skin. It's perfect. This is perfect. It's the only cleanser I keep now. I love it. My Clinique Clarifying Lotion number two. This is infamous at my house. I never go without it. And I love this giant container that I so far have only found at Nordstrom. Where you do that with your cotton on top. I love this so much. I, this lasts forever. I think uh, close to a year. And so um, I just bought that at the Nordstrom sale. It's got that cool, refreshing feeling. It just makes my, my pores feel tighter. I don't know if it tightens them, but it makes them feel tighter. Feels cool and refreshing, and I just love it. It is a classic. Okay, then I have the DHC cleansing oil. I did not replace this. Because I have the, ah, good, I have it, Hadalabo cleansing oil. I went through one of each of these. And um, this was a little thick, so I mixed it with the DH, with the um, Hadalabo. This is my preference. This is the one that I replaced. It's the one that 
sticks. I also love the Burt's Bees, but the Hada Labo, that's just easy to get my hands on. It's at Amazon. So that's the one I keep replacing. I have another Burt's Bees Gentle Foaming Cleanser. This is the one with no scent or just a generic scent, and I can't find this anymore. But I, again, I love the um, mint and cucumber. It does not smell like mint or cucumber. It just smells fresh and nice. Okay, I went through an Imapel. This is a night cream. If you are in menopause, this is supposed to replenish the estrogen in your skin, I believe. Heard about this on Penn Smith Skincare, and sadly, I have fallen in love with it. I think I can tell a difference with it, and it is so pricey. This is the priciest thing I put on my face. This is about 190. I don't know that this is what I am liking that's working on my face, but I suspect when I started using this, I became more satisfied with my face. So I love this. And I'm sorry to tell you, it's very, very pricey, but um, I keep replacing it. The cream, this was the cream. They have a cream and a serum. Right now I'm using a serum. I will replace the cream next time. I don't layer them. They are too expensive for that. I either use the cream or the serum. Right now I'm using the serum. The cream, the reason I like this, I can make this last forever. Forever. I would get a tiny bit of this and then I would put it with my serums, other serums, cheaper serums, and thin it out. It lasted forever. It lasted a really long time. So I have the serum, which I love, but I will repurchase the cream. I really thin that out and make it really last. Okay, I'm looking for a Tarte Found Sealer because I'm about to show you foundations that I am trashing because of my found sealer. And I have an empty one around here somewhere. The found sealer, it's my go-to. It's what I'm wearing every single day. I've gone through four of them. And every time I go through one and I get something else out to try to finish it, I can't. I got out my Dior Forever Skin Glow. No, does not hold a candle anywhere near my found sealer. My MAC studio fix or studio studio fix i love this over a powder it's beautiful still not as good as my found sealer still not and then i have another skin glow so i'm putting all of those in the trash or handing them off probably give those to my niece or in my daughter who both have really really good skin and don't need as much cover as i do the found sealer it is, I have it on right now, but it is, um, it starts out luminous. It is a full cover, but then I mat mattify it. it. It just is perfect. It just gives me the perfect amount. I don't have to powder all day with it. Once I'm mattify, you know, I can powder maybe once more through the day, but don't look overly matte. It's, it's perfect. I'll keep trying to use my other foundations up, but I'm not going to force myself. The found sealer is too good. Then I went through a Urban Decay Optical Illusion. I'm going through a lot of primers. This one was really nice. I would replace it if I didn't have an Ulta store in there. This blurs and maybe makes your makeup last longer, but I just like that it gives me a nice canvas to start with. So I would replace it, but I have too many that are really a lot like that. If you don't want to spend that much, the Angel Veil by NYX and the Elf. Elf has a real nice pink that reminds me a lot of this. You don't have to spend this much, but if you want to and you like Urban Decay, you like the packaging, that was a nice one. I'm lucky I finished that my daughter likes to steal those. <laughs> she loves that. I always, I always go through an Essence Sculpted Volume and an Essence Volume Boost. These are my go-to. It's what I always have on my eyelashes. I am back on the Revital Lash. When I'm using Revital Lash and these, my eyelashes get so long. There it is. There's my found sealer. This is my foundation I love. Sometimes on QVC, you can buy one, get one. I'm about to go check because I'm on my last bottle. I went through a Derma Blend. This is the white and I did replace it. And I love it. It's my go-to. Then I went through at least one age rewind and I'm almost done with another one and I love this for my color corrector 
I got one of these out and I was using up also some Max, but once I got this out, I've not put it down. And I've ordered about three more. I I may end up cleaning out some of my other concealing color correctors because this, I don't want to put it down ever. This is the brightening one and it is so good. I love it. Okay, next, I went through a Stila Gerbera. One of you girls told me about this. It's a cream blush and I loved this. I loved it, but I did not replace it. I am in massive use ups. A massive use up, no buy. I don't ever buy makeup. I, could, I just go st um, shop my stash. And I have tons. What am I using right now? Patrick Ta. Hold on, I'll get it. Okay, what I'm using up right now, and I love Patrick Ta. Something about his blushes is magical. And I've got this in, hold on, let me get my glasses. It's named something strange, like she's got it all, or do we know her? This is called Do We Know Her, and it's coral. And I've already hit pan on it, look at that. Hot coral. And then this is nice too. And I used this today with, something that will be in my next empties, and that is this Jill Stewart blush. And I don't think you can still get this one, but a lot like it with all the different colors in it. Kind of gives the same effect as an hourglass. It's a very light, just a very pretty feminine dust of color. And so I use the Patrick Ta and then kind of soften it with this. But this is the cream blush I use every day. Oh. I should also say that's cream, that's powder. So this is the cream I'm using. And then you can tell I don't often use it. I just started, but I love it. So I will be using it today. This is what I have on with the Jill Stewart on top of this. Okay, I have a dog treat. I wasn't going to show you this yet, but I will just tell you every night, Ted and Violet back here love these. Every night I let them out and then I make them sit and I train them with these. I make them sit until I tell them that they can eat or whatever. They're just little training treats. This is what I used when I was crate training them. I will tell y'all, Ted, the one on top, he's <laughs> laying on top of Violet. He is 10, almost 10, and Violet is 8. It'll be time for another pug here pretty soon. I don't ever want to be without two. But um, this is what I crate trained both of them with, and they love these. These are the Pet Botanics training rewards. They love them. Okay, I went through, y'all, this is how long it's been since I've done an empties, all these Nioxin. And um, these are all number two, I believe, Clint, um, shampoo. I, I use the shampoo all over, let it set while I shave, and it stops shedding. And then the conditioner I use on my scalp for detangling and through the rest is Aussie Volume. It's my favorite combo. I love my Nioxin. I'm on a, I'm on a subscription on Amazon with those. Bamboo Fiberful Big Hairspray. It has a little bit in it. I have about 10 of these. And what I love about these is it holds but you can, it doesn't make your hair feel dirty or too stiff. It's just a beautiful combination of flexible and a nice hold. It's so good and not expensive. Okay, I have started using the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast a bunch again. After I dry my hair and style it, I shoot it with this. It makes it last all week, that volume. Mm -mm -mm. I love that. It is nice. Soft soap, mango, pomegranate infusion, beautiful grapefruit smell, very lathering, like very sudsy, and lasts a long time, inexpensive, it's great. My Aussie volume that I put through all the way through the ends of my hair, and I love that. Okay, and if you are sitting there thinking, wow, her hair has gotten long, you are so right. I can't believe. When I look at videos from a year ago, I'll put a picture up, my hair, is so long, it's this. It's the only thing I changed. I know Ellis for Living loves this, Ms. Melissa loves this. 
Uh, for good reason. It makes my hair grow like a weed. And I do think, and I do think that it helps with thin spots, but my biggest notice, my biggest thing I notice is how long it is. Again, I do think that it stopped the shedding and the thinning, but long. I have more hair. I love that. That is the Rogaine. And I use the men's, not the women's. It says not to, but I do it anyway, so buyer beware. Then Tanceuticals, this is a my big guns of the tanning. I love the Jergens 3-Day that Ellis for Living told me about a year ago, or years maybe. But when I need big guns tanning, which I could use it, I could use something right now, this makes me so dark. This is tropical. I've been in Cancun for a week. It is a beautiful tan, and I used to wear... A swimsuit with this it's so good I would put it on go to the beach it looked that natural okay and next I have the dust off electronics duster and I love this what I bought this for was for my little Robo rock vacuum I get the filter out and I spray it spray it out it makes that it really is good care for a Robo rock vacuum cleaner or any of those little electronic vacuums also for alley back here this is so good for that all these in packs of six i get them on amazon and i love keeping these around okay and then my last thing very exciting is the tylenol <laughs> cold and flu and i love this so much because it gives me a nice sleep but i don't feel groggy the next day it's a little bit hard to find be sure and get the night time this gives me the most lovely deep sleep when I can't sleep. And it helps with cold and flu, but mostly I use it for sleeping. So love that. All right, and we got through all of these. That is all of my empties for this month. Y'all let me know anything that you've been enjoying, and that is all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.